She's good, she's strong, but she's still really sweet. So hey y'all, before we get into today's vlog, I wanna share with you an amazing gift I received from Kinder Beauty. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would have saw that I, a couple of months ago, did an unboxing of the Kinder Beauty box for October. And oh my God, y'all, it came with so many amazing products. It's such an amazing deal. They're clean, they're cruelty-free, they're vegan. And so when they reached out to me to send over their lifestyle quarterly box, I said, um, yeah, send it over. So this specific box is focused all on self-care. This is the Cozy Edition 2022-2023 box. And so they did launch this line this past holiday season. And I'm super excited because in 2023, I wanna focus on self-care. Um, self-care can mean any and everything, but for me, it just means taking care of myself and putting myself first, right? So I wanna show you all of the items that come in this box. I will be sure to populate a discount code on the screen so you can go ahead and sign up for the quarterly subscription. You can even sign up for the annual subscription and receive a free beauty box with products up to $147. So it's an amazing steal, so I highly, highly recommend it. And I've taken a look in the box, y'all, and I'm super excited about all the products because I know I will be using them in 2023. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'm just going to show you the inside of the box. It just says self-care, the practice of taking an active role in protecting one's own well-being and happiness in particular during periods of time of stress. And so of course the box comes with this brochure and it just kind of briefly goes over all of the different products that you're going to receive within the box. So this is the Cozy Edition Winter 2022-2023 box. And so they just launched this past holiday season and again, super excited. The beauty box is amazing, but now to have this self-care box, y'all, and it comes with 10 items and the retail value of this is over $240, okay? And you can get the quarterly subscription for $6. $64.95 so that's amazing deal so here's one of the first products and this is just a sleep time super latte so it's supposed to help with sleep this next piece that we have is the higher dose chew chills so I have never taken this before but it does have magnesium in it and it's supposed to help with stress relief and ignite a sense of calmness so that is pretty pretty cool that's the second item then the next item we have is a gemstone facial therapy mask wow I've never used a gemstone facial mask and y'all it has like pieces in it so yeah super excited to try that out then the next item we get is a candle so y'all I did smell this candle and it smells absolutely amazing so this is white santal vanilla tobacco and sandalwood y'all this smells amazing now it's because it's kind of small I would say this would be best somewhere in like your bedroom or either in your bathroom, somewhere like that, somewhere that's not a too large of a space. So excited for that piece. The next thing we got is this Sleep Tight Oil. I can always use this. I personally love oils. Then we're just working our way through. Then we have the Good Patch. So it's supposed to help with sleep. So never tried that before, but again, really excited about it y'all it's so much stuff in here so then the next thing is the hydrator this is a three in one day plus night and overnight treatment so something for our skin and it's really pretty and hopefully it's zooming in y'all then let's go here now i was excited about this as well so this is their overnight moisturizing gel socks so this is going to be nice and i'll probably use this this upcoming weekend because wow I've never used gel socks before so that's pretty exciting then you get here the clever blends milk frother for the perfect latte so I do have a frother that came with my Nespresso but I definitely want to try this hand one because I can use this for other things if I decide to get into like the whole matcha thing maybe I can use it for the super latte over there wow y'all that's pretty pretty cool so definitely i'm gonna check that out and then i think this is the last item 
yes y'all and this is another item i did check out so this is <laughs> your new favorite mug so let's pull it out i have recently become obsessed with mugs so i'm excited for this one let's get it out they wrapped it up really nicely so it's not going to get broke or anything like that while it's getting shipped to you and it just says be kinder which again i love that i just love everything that kinder beauty stands for again they just focus on you know great products again clean cruelty free vegan non-toxic i mean you really cannot go wrong they curate this box for you every quarter so again you're going to get 10 different products every quarter that again just focuses on you and your self-care so again i really love that and i'm going to make sure i leave this out y'all because i'm going to wash it and use it today <laughs> I love mugs, so I'm super duper excited for this one. So definitely consider going ahead and signing up for your subscription. You need to prioritize yourself in 2023, so I highly, highly recommend it that you take advantage of this offer and go ahead and grab your subscription. So again, you can get a one-time purchase, you can buy it quarterly, and then you can also get it annually. Now, if you purchase annually, to me, it's the best deal because you're pretty much getting every box for around $59. $95. So under 60 bucks for a box full of products over $240 you cannot beat it so again thank you so much kinder beauty for sending me over the new knd lifestyle quarterly subscription box i'm super excited for this and i can't wait to let y'all know how much i love all the products tomorrow um this year has been really good okay it has been a good year um moving to georgia was great um just all of the different things getting a new job going to another company i mean it's been a great year but i'm ready for the new year there's a lot of fun and exciting things that i want to do plans that i want to make for next year so yeah i'm looking forward to it so the hubby and i are about to first go and throw out a bunch of trash because I've been up cleaning <laughs> I am trying to condense any kind of junk anything that we are not using anymore I'm just trying to get rid of stuff y'all and then tomorrow I'm gonna do like a little New Year's Day reset with you all um or is it New Year Day reset no it's a New Year's Day reset that's what I'm gonna do with you all tomorrow because I want to put the rest of the like holiday stuff up I put a few things up but I'm going to do a few things with you all tomorrow to get things back to normal. But yeah, just been trying to clean and get everything in order. We had plans to go to toast this morning. Well, afternoon for brunch. But we canceled it because first off, it's raining here today. And y'all, if you remember, we came to Atlanta last year for New Year's Eve. And, um, and it's been New Year's Day. And y'all, mm mm it was like raining and like you know what i'm saying this same kind of weather where it's like in the 60s so it's like humid it just ain't hitting so i'm kind of glad we just canceled those reservations and decided that we are gonna chill at the house we're probably gonna get like sushi or something like that for dinner tonight to go take out because we're not going um y'all i had like a crazy like breakout and so um i don't even want to like 
deal with this right now so so yeah so we're not gonna go anywhere but i'm gonna make us like some drinks and stuff like that so you'll get to see all that fun stuff um we need to go to either like ross home goods somewhere i need to get like a couple pillows our pillows are just going flat so fast um, and it's probably because I typically don't invest a ton, um, which I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm just going to get something like simple just to get some more like lift. We have that like low platform style bed and I just feel like with those beds, I need like higher pillows. So we're going to get those. Um, I want to run a Trader Joe's. I want to just get a couple of things to make like tomorrow night for dinner just because I'm not going to the grocery store. I have a few things in the freezers, like some wings and stuff, but... I don't know. I just kind of want something simple and easy, y'all. So tomorrow we'll probably just make, um, I don't know, maybe like the Mandarin chicken. Like y'all know that's like the popular Trader Joe's meal. We might do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go in there and see what they have. I just want some easy peasy stuff um, because again, it's still Sunday tomorrow and I'm not making like no big fancy Sunday dinner or nothing. So I'm gonna stop in there. Um, we're going to get since we're not going to toast, we're going to just get some IHOP or something for breakfast because I do have a taste for pancakes. And yeah, y'all, I mean, really, I think that's all that we have going on. So I will try to take y'all with us for as much as I can. But again, it's rainy, it's ugly, so I'm going to be moving kind of quick. But yeah, so again, super excited for the new year. Hopefully you all have had a wonderful year. And I just hope that you have an even better 2023. So yeah, let's go ahead and head out the door. All right, y'all, they playing music in here, so I can't stay on too long. But I am just looking for some king pillows. Um, I feel like these are the ones. We've had these, this Serta one. I'm looking for something more plump, extra firm support. Yeah, maybe these, y'all. Um, they don't have a ton of options, so that might be the best one. Yeah, these, y'all, these, if you ever see these, they go flat fast. Don't get those. And we need king size. Um, yeah, y'all, that's our best bet. Everything else is standard. Okay. We're just gonna try this extra firm support. Three-year warranty. Mm-hmm. Ideal comfort for back and side sleepers. Okay, we're gonna see. The level is just so advanced. The bezel is Tiffany stamp. Don't grip on my hand. I know that I came with the slide from left to right, but now I don't wanna dance. I got too much on the line, too much on my mind, too much ain't enough of my plans. Nike don't pay me to tell you, just do it. They pay me to show you I do it again. Huh? Yeah, I'm in control of the blind. Yeah. You know how Tori get hot. No. Let me this please go pop. Bang. The grip is over the top. Yes. The whip is over the top. <laughs> I can't be pale in my casket, make sure I die with a 10, it's part of the brand I know that I came with a slide from left to right, but now I don't want to dance Can I depend on a man, I slotted some bread in the jam, that's just why so y'all, it is time to go ahead and make these lemon drops because I'm ready to get a little drink in my system. So let me just show y'all everything I have. So triple sec. Tito's. This is just a small bottle because honestly, y'all, I'm more so a tequila girl. I used to be a vodka girl, but honestly, um, just over the years, vodka and me just ain't the thing. But obviously, I prefer vodka and lemon drops. Then I have a strawberry and simple syrup. I have lemons here. I have my plate of sugar for the rim, my little shaker, some cut lemon. I have this lemonade from Trader Joe's. I got this today because I saw people talking about it and it is really good, y'all. So I'm glad I picked that up. And then I need my little, where did I put it? Where I put it, y'all? Hold up. My little um, thing to measure off the shots. Where is it? Hold, please. I found it, y'all. So this is what I was looking for. I've gone ahead and put some ice in my shaker. And I forgot I do have some lemon juice so I can use um, this as well. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour the liquor in first. So it says usually about two ounces. Um, since I'm making two, I'm going to do maybe a little more than... Mm, Maybe a little over four ounces just because you know the ice in there yeah okay that's a lot of liquor <laughs> 
that's okay it's gonna be good y'all then i'm gonna do i think it's usually like two ounces of triple sec or something like that y'all i can't never remember what's what but i just tasted to see so you know just do what you think you don't have to be perfect then we're gonna take our simple syrup let's see probably should have angled y'all differently so y'all can see me doing this but it's okay so pour the simple syrup which the simple syrup smells good then we're gonna put a little bit of the strawberry syrup so i'm only gonna do this is one ounce on this small size so just one ounce of the strawberry syrup because i guess i want this to be strawberry lemon drops again i guess i don't know y'all what i was thinking okay then i want some of this because last time i felt like it was really sour with the lemon juice and i have lemons here and i could squeeze them in there but y'all i don't have the little thing i need to really squeeze them how i want so i'm just gonna do this okay then what do we need is that everything in there y'all the liquor the triple sec the simple syrup the strawberry syrup that's everything i think let's shake it up this thing has like uh some target and it was a bunch of people saying that it leaks so i just make sure i hold it really really good okay then i have um so of course of course you want to make sure you chill your cups so glasses and then i'm gonna just go ahead and take some lemon juice around the rim just to make sure it sticks the sugar okay then we're just gonna pop that baby and i like a lot of sugar on the rim i just think that makes the drink even better boom there you go My husband went out to go get the food, so he'll be here in a moment. Okay, boom. Sugar on the rim. Now, to make sure our drink is even good, we're gonna taste test it, and let me grab a straw. I always wanna taste test your drink. I think if you're a bartender or ever bartend, you know, taste your drink before you serve it, so. a little something definitely feel like a little more strawberry syrup not a lot of liquor i can taste all oh, the liquor okay i taste the liquor strawberry syrup mm. wait did i put yeah i did the simple syrup maybe a little more lemon lemonade okay let's shake it and try that again it's good but you know how you like you know how you taste something you're like something missing something and i just need to figure out what it is let me see let me see y'all it's so strong um i, I put a lot of liquor i feel like <laughs> we're gonna put like a little bit of lemon okay that's it Cause I mean, I want them to be strong, but I still want them to be sweet. You know what I mean? Like, still want that like sweet taste. Here we go. Okay. I'll shake that thing again. It's not like super strawberry. So I mean, technically, I could definitely go back and make it more strawberry-like. So it's kind of not that much strawberry on it, so. I think I've done good with this at this point. So let's go ahead and pour her in. Boom. So here she is in all her glory. Let me take a little sip. Okay. 
Mm. She's good. She's strong, but she's still really sweet. So definitely love that. Okay, y'all. So the food has arrived. Ooh. Oh, this looks good. I got a different roll, y'all. Can you see it? Let me see. And I don't like ginger wasabi with my stuff, so they look good. Okay. And then chopsticks. And then what's this? Oh, the little salad. My husband just gets like the rice, like a bunch of rice. Um, yum yum sauce. Soup. I sometimes eat the soup. Um, we just got like the little gyoza, if you can see it. And then this is for my husband. It's just like their chicken fried, like Japanese rice. It's really good. And then there's just soy sauce. So that is gonna be our New Year's Eve dinner, y'all. And we are going to close it out for here tonight and I will see y'all tomorrow for our New Year's Day reset. So y'all, it is officially 2023. So happy new year to you all. We are in this new year and it's day one. And you know, I typically don't look at the new year like, oh my God, it's such a fresh start. But you know what it is, it's a fresh start for you to make changes, be a better person, change your life in some major way. I mean, the options are endless, right? So I'm up this morning because we need to go ahead and kind of get rid of the last few holiday things that I have out. So one of the things that I still have out, which I really love this, y'all. I still have out my little um, Christmas trees, um, little box, <laughs> organized box here for my um, coffees. So we need to go ahead and put that up. We also still had out the holiday um, kitchen towels. So I'm gonna just put those up because we no longer need that stuff. So we're gonna pop out all of our regular items. So normally I just have above my stove, it's just like black towel. So we're gonna put that out. Let me grab my canisters y'all so we can go ahead and just transfer everything. I'm gonna wipe the counter down, all of that good stuff. So here are all of the canisters. And I did like briefly just wipe them down yesterday. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe just wipe the counter area down that we um, are putting these into. So let me do that first and I'll be right back. First thing y'all, let me go ahead and put all my equal back in here because this needs to go inside of the canister as well. So definitely let me know in the comments if you are someone that sets resolutions. Um, I think for me, I'm more of a goal setter for the new year versus a resolution. Um, I mean, I guess it could be the same thing depending on how you think about it. But for me, um, just goal setting is a big deal to me. So I would say for me this year, um, a few things that I just slacked off on in 2022 is drinking a ton of water, y'all. I, back in 2020, right, my husband and I had decided like, yep, we're only gonna drink water and maybe like juice occasionally, but we're no longer drinking soda. Y'all, <laughs> we did so good up until, I wanna say we hadn't had sodas for, for sure over a year. We did really good up until summer 2021. Y'all, ever since, and I know I always say this, but ever since I came back from that Houston trip back in June 2021 when we went to celebrate my homegirl Tiff, baby, that is when I just decided not to get back on my game. Like, I promise y'all, I went from being so serious about my weight loss, so serious about exercise, and y'all, I just, I fell off. I fell off completely. Um, I wasn't making it a priority. I just didn't do what I needed to do, right? So for 2023, I do want to make some changes um, and serious changes. I want to be more active, you know, drink more water, you know, eat at home more. Um, I feel like since moving to Georgia, my husband and I have been eating out a ton. Um, and that's just something that I want to stop because one, the cost that it is to eat out is expensive, right? Like you spend way more money. And then two, just it's not as healthy. Like at least if I make something at home that's maybe like not as healthy as I normally would go for, 
I feel like the calories would still be much less than like a fast food spot, you know? So I do feel like I wanna do that. So cooking more at home, um, and again, being more active, drinking a ton more water. So y'all saw in Target, I did pick up that um, Stanley cup, which let me get it out of the dishwasher. And y'all, I don't use the dishwasher for anything but to dry my dishes. Like I don't, I hand wash. But let's get it all out because we are gonna start our mornings with water okay so this is a stanley cup that i chose which is like white with all the cute little like speckles on it and it has like a little like sheen to it undertone as well so my goal is each day to start my morning out by finishing at least one of these so this is 40 ounces so my goal is to try to somewhere around 80 ounces of water so at least two of these a day so before i eat any food or anything like that i'm going to finish one of these every day okay so that's my goal and then this here i'm gonna pack this up somewhere with holiday stuff because i don't need that out anymore okay y'all so let's go ahead and fill up our water and then we'll chat some more all right y'all so my stanley cup is all full so this thing is heavy okay um <laughs> it's heavy um i do like it because like i said it's 40 ounces and i feel like all the other little like water bottles i ever use like the the um starbucks tumblers they're always like 20 some ounces so i do like this because it's 40 ounces and like i said i'm gonna be starting every morning with completing one of these before I begin with my coffee, food, anything like that. So I was able to put some ice in there and I put a little bit over of two 16 ounce waters in it because obviously the ice kind of, you know, added a little um, where I wasn't able to put um, a whole 40 ounces, but y'all get me. Mm. So, so yeah, so, um, I just want to talk to y'all a little bit because I think today it's going to be a very light day for us. Like we are just going to relax. My husband and I are both off obviously today and tomorrow. So we are going to just be relaxing, but I did want to chat with you all to let you know a few things. So the first thing is this will probably be the only video you will see for the month of January. Now I may change my mind because obviously I love YouTube so much, but I did want to just take some time off to kind of just really reset, regain focus on things that I really need to be focused on. Um, I vlogged out of my Instagram last night because I just feel like there's always a bunch of distractions y'all like it's always something with what's going on in the world what's going on with this person what's going on with this um on social media or who's buying this like i just want to focus on me and my goals and things that i want to accomplish versus focusing on everyone else right like i know it sounds a little like okay but yeah i just want to focus on me so i will be taking some time away this will probably be the only video you see for the month of january and of course i'll be thinking of you all and y'all know i have like a million videos on my channel so you'll have things to watch in the meantime but i'm gonna take a little bit of a break and i hope when i come back that i am just in a better space and doing better and I can update y'all on a lot of new things. So again, I thank you all for your support. I love you so much. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, share your goals with me. I'm so curious. And again, thank you for all you do and I will see you all very, very soon.